The idea of immortality has long captivated humanity. China's first emperor ordered his subjects to search for the elixir of life in a quest for immortality. In 16th century France, nobles would drink gold in a bid to extend their lifespans. Scientists from Silicon Valley and entrepreneurs are working on a range of techniques, from attempting to stop cells from aging to the practice of injecting young blood into old people and even transferring our minds into digital consciousness. But will it ever be possible to achieve immortality? How long will it take for a modern human to get the first signs of living forever? Let's face it, this idea is no longer as unrealistic as it once appeared due to the quick developments in biotechnology, artificial intelligence, quantum computing, and other cutting-edge technologies. Indeed, according to some experts, within the next 30 years, a kind of immortality might be attained. We invite you to explore the scientific and technological breakthroughs that could bring us closer to the doors of immortality. Will you take the step? According to Guinness World Records, Frenchwoman Jean Calment, who passed away in 1997 at the age of 122, is the oldest person ever whose age has been verified. A 2021 study that was published in the journal Nature Communications says that people may live for a maximum of 120 to 150 years before they completely lose their resilience or the body's capacity to bounce back from injuries or illnesses. Humans would have to avoid sickness and stop cells from aging if they wanted to survive past this point. In other words, to live indefinitely, we would need to stop the body from aging. In this pursuit, a number of billionaires have pumped money into research. Google founder Larry Page has poured millions into Calico, a secretive health venture which aims to solve death. Amazon founder Jeff Bezos and the billionaire Peter Thiel are funders of Unity Biotechnology, which hopes to combat the effects of aging. One way to do that is by increasing biological longevity. Its focus on its treatments that can lengthen telomeres, the caps at the end of each strand of DNA. Targeting cellular senescence, a process where cells cease to divide and contribute to aging and age-related disorders, is the promising option. The Mayo Clinic's animal experiments on senolytic medications, which specifically kill old cells, have produced encouraging results. Another possible anti-aging tactic is telomere extension. With every cell division, the protecting telomeres at the end of chromosomes get shorter. Aging results from cells' inability to divide when telomeres get too short. Researchers at Harvard Medical School are looking into methods to activate the telomerase enzyme, which can lengthen telomeres and possibly postpone aging. CRISPR gene editing technology, which stands for Clustered Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeats, is one more biological technology promising to modify genes linked to aging and age-related illnesses. You may call it a gene editing tool. By improving cellular repair mechanisms, this technique may help cure genetic illnesses and may increase human lifespan. Personalized treatments for cancer are getting ever closer thanks to CRISPR, giving a chance to fight death. A 2022 clinical trial published in Nature Science used gene editing technology to train a patient's immune system cells to identify and target specific cancer cells. And that's just the beginning. What if we tell you that there is another approach to increase longevity that is already being applied? Cryonic Preservation After a person has legally passed away, Cryonics aims to preserve their body and mind as much as possible by freezing them. This will buy the patient some time until medical science can revive and heal them of whatever caused their death. It's like you are given a second chance. In order to prevent ice crystals from developing in the blood cells, 
cryoprotectant chemicals, which are comparable to antifreeze, are used to replace the blood that has been drained from the body. In an effort to preserve the organs and tissue, the body is subsequently put in a storage tank and cooled to liquid nitrogen at minus 196 Celsius, that's negative 321 degrees Fahrenheit. In the U.S. state of Michigan, the Cryonics Institute has about 2,000 living people signed up and 165 patients who have already gone through the process. Would they ever get their second chance? For now, there is no definitive answer, but the future is full of surprises. The pursuit of immortality may also be greatly aided by regenerative medicine. Research on stem cells has already demonstrated promise in the regeneration of damaged organs and tissues. Researchers at organizations such as the Wake Forest Institute for Regenerative Medicine are working on 3D bioprinting methods to use a patient's own cells to make replacement organs. This technology could lower the risk of transplant rejection and eliminate the need for organ donors. While the ultimate goal of 3D bioprinting is the production of artificial organs for transplantation, the complexity involved in making them function as real organs is still huge. AI-powered medical devices have the potential to greatly enhance both illness prevention and treatment. Vital signs can be continuously monitored by wearable technology, such as smartwatches, which can provide early indications of possible health problems. When paired with personalized medicine, which adjusts therapies based on a patient's genetic composition, these technologies may help people stay healthy and live longer. However, preventing the human body from aging still isn't enough to achieve immortality. Just ask the polyp hydra, a small freshwater invertebrate that looks like miniature palm trees with tentacles. They are considered biologically immortal because they can regenerate lost body parts and don't age biologically. Despite the hydra never showing any symptoms of aging, they still die under certain circumstances. They succumb if their surroundings change too drastically, like when their ponds freeze in winter, or they are eaten up by predators like fish. Although there aren't many predators for humans to worry about, we are more likely to have deadly accidents and be at risk from severe weather conditions, such as those made worse by climate change. To guarantee our life for a very long time, we will require a more robust body than our present one. Will technology be the answer to this problem? Let's find out. Futurists predict two significant turning points in the development of technology. According to Live Science, the first is the singularity, when we create artificial intelligence that is capable of reinventing itself and becomes increasingly more intelligent until it surpasses our own intelligence by a significant margin. The second milestone is virtual immortality, which will allow us to transfer ourselves to a non-biological platform, such as a computer, by scanning our minds. Sounds unbelievably shocking? But which one is closer to reality? Transforming human consciousness into a digital format sounds like a more radical approach to immortality. Technologies that allow to directly connect the human brain to computers are being developed using brain-computer interfaces, such as Neuralink. Its device, in terms of the number and size of electrodes it contains, is indeed a step up from those currently in use which holds 64 electrodes. In the future, these interfaces might make it possible to transfer memories, ideas, and possibly even consciousness itself into a digital format. Theoretically, whole brain emulation, also referred to as mind uploading, replicates the composition and operations of the human brain in a virtual setting. Under Henry Markram's direction, the Human Brain Project seeks to build a comprehensive model of the human brain that might act as the basis for digital consciousness. We might need a tremendous amount of processing power to achieve digital immortality, which is where quantum computers come in. Quantum computing, which is being advanced by companies like Google and IBM, 
may be able to manage the massive volumes of data processing needed to simulate a human mind. Furthermore, the development of incredibly lifelike virtual worlds where digital awareness might exist forever might be made possible by quantum computing. However, there is a great big but. Once the human mind is on a computer and can be uploaded to the internet, we won't have to worry about the human body perishing. The idea seems fine on the surface. The author of Artificial You, AI and the Future of Your Mind, Suzanne Schneider, explains a thought experiment in which the brain either survives the upload procedure or does not. In the event that your brain survives the upload procedure, the digital copy still cannot be you, because you are still alive. In the event that your brain does not survive, the copy can only be your digital duplicate. In this case, will you be immortal? Okay, now that we see opportunities in both biological and digital approaches to reach the gates of immortality, what would happen if scientists could blend in anti-aging techniques with brain emulation? A more realistic road to immortality could be made possible through a mix of digital and biological technology. Augmented reality, neural implants, and cyborg technologies are already improving human abilities. These developments might provide a progressive path to digital immortality by bridging the gap between human biology and technology. People may be able to improve their brains with digital information by using memory storage and retrieval technologies. DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, is actively investigating methods to enhance memory using implants, which could enable digital information storage and access in the brain. On the contrary, according to Susan Schneider, the human body appears to have an expiration date, regardless of how it is upgraded or uploaded. If we are gradually replacing parts of the brain with chips, eventually, one becomes like an artificial intelligence. In other words, slowly transitioning into a cyborg and thinking in chips rather than neurons. But if the human brain is intimately connected to you, does replacing it mean suicide? Hence, whether humans are still humans without their bodies is an open question. The issue of immortality is a tricky one, with several philosophical and ethical effects coming to the surface. The moral philosopher Samuel Scheffler at New York University has suggested that the real problem with the fantasy of immortality is that it doesn't make sense as a coherent desire. Scheffler points out that human life is intimately structured by the fact that it has a fixed, even if usually unknown, time limit. That's the point. We are making attempts and struggles to live life to the fullest. But what if you become immortal? What is the aim of living? Hence, the definition of real immortality is one important question. Does the existence of awareness in a virtual world, known as digital immortality, have the same significance as biological immortality? Can you feel the difference between staying young in flesh and blood or becoming a cyborg with AI-driven implants? Consideration must also be given to social concerns. In the case when immortality becomes a reality, social and economic inequality may worsen and overpopulation would arise. The word we appears frequently in writing about our immortal future, but not everyone will be able to access it right away. Without a doubt, the most beneficial commercial commodity in the future would be technology that grants anti-aging medicine but there is absolutely no way that it's going to be given out for free. There's a fair chance that immortality technology will widen the gap between rich and poor. Most people would pay any sum to prevent their own death or the death of a loved one, even if it meant going into tremendous debt and essentially becoming a debt slave. What's more, ethical and legal concerns especially in relation to the ownership of digital awareness and the rights of digital beings, would follow. Even while the prospect of immortality is thrilling, there are many obstacles to go past. The fields of artificial intelligence, biotechnology, 
and quantum computing are still in their infancy. The safety and effectiveness of biological anti-aging and regeneration techniques need to be carefully examined. Let's finally answer the main question. Will we ever become immortal? Technically, we could. Practically, there is a long way to go. Although real immortality may still just be the stuff of science fiction, given how quickly technology is developing, major progress may be made in the next 30 years. The prospect of transcending mortality is more realistic than ever, whether accomplished by extending biological life, developing digital awareness, or merging technical and human components. But even if we are able to become immortal, the next important question breaks in, should we? Leave all your answers in comments below and share your genuine thoughts about immortality. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button to help us become better. Thank you for watching.